Electric charge. Although you may not know it, electric charge is all around you. Electric charges. Electric charge is a fundamental quantity that is responsible for all electric phenomena. All atoms have electric charge properties. This charge can be positive, negative, or neutral. Atoms. In general, the heavy nucleus of atoms have a positive charge. This comes from the protons that are in the nucleus. The small, light, negative electrons are outside the nucleus in shells or orbits. Electrons in you. Even though you're not aware of it, your body contains an astronomically high number of electrons, far more than would be needed to electrocute a person. How can this be? Balance of charge. The negative electrons in your body's atoms are balanced by an approximately equal number of positive protons. So for example, you had six negative charges, just as an example you would probably also have six positive charges. This balance gives a net charge of zero, or neutral, most of the time. Ions. While your body and most other atoms are typically neutral, sometimes there is an imbalance of charge. If there is an excess of electrons, you have a negatively charged ion. In this example, we have one more electron than protons. This atom would be a negative ion. On the other hand, if there's a lack of electrons, you have a positively charged ion. In this example, there's one extra proton, so there's a positive net charge here. Conservation of charge. While one atom may have extra electrons, too many, this means that something else must have lost electrons, or given those electrons to the object from somewhere. Conserved quantities. Just as mass, energy, and momentum are conserved, so is electric charge. You can't create or destroy electric charge, it's just transferred or removed from one object to another. Charge unit. Because electrons are very, very small, they're not counted individually. They're counted in groups called coulombs. A coulomb is a group of electrons whose number is 6.25 times 10 to the 18th electrons. That's actually 6.25 billion billion electrons. This is similar to how we count other things, like eggs. A dozen eggs is 12. It's simply a group of eggs. No one goes to the grocery store to buy eggs individually. Charging by contact. Simply rubbing one object against another can transfer charge. This makes one of the objects positive and the other negative. For example, here's a piece of cloth and a rod, both neutral to begin with. Through a little bit of friction, afterwards, you may note that the silk is now positive, has one less negative charge, and the rod has one extra negative charge. charging by induction. You don't necessarily have to touch an object to charge it. You can induce the electrons to move due to the electric force acting on them. We'll talk more about this electric force later. 
Consider the metal spheres on an insulating stand shown below. Initially, these two metal spheres are neutral. Note two positives and two negatives in each. Imagine a negative rod is brought near those two metal spheres, but not touching. Note how the negative charges are repelled away. Now those spheres are separated. The metal rod, or the charged rod, is even removed. And note how finally, after all that, even without being touched, the sphere on the left is left positively charged, on this, and the sphere on the right is left negatively charged. 